And if your kid just gonna bite that apple that you bought in the in the in the vegetable store in the in the fruit store, something wonderful gonna happen because of that. Even if he's gonna forget to say the bracha on that awesome apple that you bought, because he will enjoy it, and the Creator will receive satisfaction and joy and pleasure from the fact that your son enjoyed the apple even without saying the bracha on it. You didn't say bracha. Maybe the fact that he will eat the apple and going to enjoy from the apple and just going to smile with his huge smile to Hashem Yidbarach going to make Hashem so much more happy than if 1,000 people like you are going to say, Oh, Hashem, okay, Muhammad, we'll be all right. And who cares about your blessings? Because you don't have a heart. And he had such gratitude and happiness while finishing that apple before even thinking, never even crossed his mind to say bracha on that apple, on that red, juicy, sweet apple. And he was so happy. And for him, Hashem is saying, for him I created the apple trees. For him, for his joy, for his satisfaction. That he will take that fruit and it's going to be the best thing ever happened to him. Because he, now in the present, he's completing the creation. He's just doing what did God want him to do? God just gave him an apple. What do you want him to do with that? He's enjoying himself with this apple. And that's the purpose of the creation. And you're too arrogant to think about that. And you think that everyone needs to say bracha, but you haven't said bracha, but you don't know. He don't know. He don't know. He knows exactly what you need to do with an apple. You need to thank Hashem. And he feels that gratitude. And he's thanking Hashem in his heart. And he's happy to be alive. And you're from. And strict. And angry. And frustrated from life. And hate your children. <laughs> and you're not satisfying Hashem. So God wants us to be happy. Really to be connected. And you know, if you feel like you can say bracha, that it's the right thing for you to bless Hashem on that apple, bless, bless Hashem on that apple. And if you're going to go deep into the source of wisdom, of the reason why we are obligated to bless Hashem with the brachot, the blessings that we have on food, you're going to see that if a person just going to say to Hashem, barach, thank you Hashem for the apple, he is fulfilling his obligation. Go to the depths of the halacha. If you're going to check, learn halacha. Not like me, like you. You tell me the chachamim, you're wise people. Go, open Masechet Brachot. Go, learn Ran, Ritva, Rif, Maharsha on the page, whatever. Rashi, Tosfot. You're going to see. Tur, Shulchan Aruch. Open all of them for Shim. You're going to see that if a person said to Hashem, Barach, thank you Hashem for the apple, he fulfilled his obligation. I'm not saying that that's the halacha. That's not the halacha. Today you need to say, Baruch Ata Hashem, Elokeinu Melech HaOlam, Boreh Peri Ha'etz. But if you haven't, if you just said, Hashem, Toda, it's enough. And also people that are not Jewish, they allow to say brachot on food. People that are not Jewish allow to say brachot on all of all kinds of things that are making the person happy. On smell. I learned that halacha. I'm not making up. I'm not a rabbi, but I'm not a liar either. Goyim are not supposed to say brachot on things that they haven't been commanded. Means, let's say, to put filin. If a goy puts tefillin, so he is not allowed to say, Asher kideshanu vetzivanu that God obligated us to put filin, because that's a lie. He didn't, he never obligated the nations to put filin. But the Gemara is saying in Masechet Brachot that it's not right that a person will enjoy the world from anything that he receives from the world without blessing Hashem Yidbarach on it. And this is why Rabbatenu, the holy rabbis, righteous people of the, those generations, obligated us to represent that wisdom and to establish that halakha, that rule for the generations always to bless Hashem Yidbarach on food, on what that we're eating. But every person is obligated to bless Hashem, to bless the Creator 
on everything that satisfies them, that makes them happy. Why not? Torah Chaim.